Hello and welcome everyone to this New Year's Eve edition of my channel. I am your host Fishbowl89 and today I'm going to be celebrating getting over the 100 subscribers mark by playing Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy. I personally have seen a few different people on YouTube play this game but have never actually attempted it in any way. So we'll see how this goes. My goal is just to tell you a little bit about myself in this video and not be too focused on the game. So hopefully that way I won't have any uh, chair throwing incidents. I'm definitely not trying to rage here. This is going to be a thank you for everyone who has stuck around so far and has continued to join. When I started out to record this video, I had 101, and I believe I'm up to 103 subscribers right now, so it really means a lot to me. Uh, the first thing I wanted to cover, like I said, this is going to be kind of a just get to know me, and uh, we're going to have the game playing in the background. Wow, uh, that may have been impressive right there. <laughs> I'm not too sure. Alright, I can definitely see why this game gets on people's nerves. I think I'm doing rather okay. I don't know how far along you should be at this point, but it's going a lot better than I thought it would. I actually thought I'd be stuck on that opening tree for a while. So anyway, I guess the first thing that I want to talk about is that uh, I issued that challenge to get me monetized and I would paint my car so I just want to clarify a little bit why I even offered that challenge um, basically in real life I have done wrap work with a professional race car team and that may hint at my identity which I'm not comfortable giving out at least not yet but uh, yeah I have worked with a professional team and I've wanted to do a wrap on my car and more likely than not I am going to actually change my car in real life uh, we obviously fell well short of the challenge but I have a few ideas of what I want to paint my car because I do not like the stock paint on it and I might still do a wrap even though I'm not going to do the one from the YouTube challenge um, well, <laughs> I'm actually feeling really good about this game so far. We'll see if in another five minutes that <laughs> feeling is gone. This is, uh, honestly a lot further than I expected to get. So, very interesting game. I left, um, Bennett Foddy's narrations on even though we're speaking over each other and that might be annoying. Hopefully I don't regret that decision. But anyway... Um, I may even show off some of the ideas that I have to paint the car and I do graphic design all the time and it has been a um, lucrative oh wow that's gonna lose a lot of progress and that's gonna be some more progress <laughs> so anyway um, it has been a lucrative uh, I don't know how do you say experience being the graphic designer and doing what I do and I have a lot of fun doing it and I think I can use it especially now that I have a gaming PC oh and this is also the first video recorded with my brand new mic hopefully I pronounce this correctly the Audio Technica I think it's a really great mic uh, as I said on the channel in a previous video I was recording with the HyperX and I don't know if HyperX is a good or bad brand just personally for me, I did not feel like it was capturing my voice very well. And I have not been paid or given any kickback for this statement, but I really think this Audio Technica mic is incredible. And it was much cheaper than the HyperX. And it came with a cleaning kit and a nice little stand that I prefer to the HyperX setup. So definitely I recommend this one. And again, I don't know if this is actually better or if it's just better for me but yeah this one gets my seal of approval so anyway I'm gonna try to climb nope <laughs> it's gonna say gonna try to climb back up this mountain here but anyway um, yeah 
I probably will paint the car and also the entire point of why I offered to paint the car was because I know you have to do something special in order to try to get a lot of followers and a lot of people will try to do a face reveal but I thought that that had been done so many times before me and it's not that interesting and I probably will do a face reveal at some point and I may even record with a rev webcam at some point if I continue to keep growing my channel but uh, again I just figured I wanted to do something original and I don't think anybody's painted their car so that was what I came up with um, hopefully I didn't ramble on there it's hard to actually focus enough on this game to get through it and talk at the same time <laughs> definitely good training ground for anybody who wants to see if they can narrate or commentate whatever you want to call it so anyway um, I am of Italian heritage on my father's side we came through Ellis Island and we actually had our name changed they made us more American by making our last name more French not sure how or why they literally only changed one letter and I have actually begun the process of trying to change it back legally so hopefully that goes all well and everything oh my god <laughs> <laughs> well, it didn't take long for me to actually be stuck somewhere, but it took me longer than I thought it would, so I'm proud of this effort so far. And then on my mother's side, I have strong Irish heritage, but for both the Italian and the Irish, I am not, uh, I'm not too close to my roots. I know where my family came from on the Italian side, and it's much easier to track, and, uh, I have definitely got more of my father's side in me because my brother has more of the Irish side and you can see that but yep just a uh, standard white cis male <laughs> I um, have really enjoyed making such popular content in Grand Theft Auto and that was the whole reason that I wanted to start a YouTube channel which I've also covered before so that's nothing new but um, I plan on, now that I'm going to be playing on Steam, I plan on doing a lot more custom stuff that really is going to be original. Oh, man. I already have 10 games purchased on Steam and I've not had the computer for very long. Thankfully they had a winter sale. I definitely helped out. Oh my god. So as we've talked about also in previous videos, I have a girlfriend in real life. We have been dating for more than two years. This was the third Christmas that we spent together and we both had COVID for Christmas. So this was definitely the least fun Christmas we've spent together, but hopefully I will never top this one as being our worst Christmas. Um, I have a total of three real life brothers. I'm the eldest. I have no sisters, even though I really wanted to have one. When my first brother was born, I apparently argued with the doctor as a very stubborn three-year-old, telling him it was going to be a sister. And I believe even when <laughs> my brother came out, uh, I was still arguing, no, that's, that's not <laughs> ours. So, never got a sister, but um, three brothers. <sighs> Man. Bennett Foddy, you are a very <laughs> intriguing person to have made a game like this. <laughs> I feel this is where, you know, my most famous Grand Theft Auto race is the extreme Panto obstacle race, so I feel like this is very similar to that. It's a race that is not for everyone, and this game is definitely not for everyone, and is a big challenge. Oh my god. I don't even remember if I got past this point yet or not. Oh yeah, I did. I was up here, yeah. Wait, was I? I don't know. This is a... Oh, uh, yep, I was because I saw a red cup that I knocked over. This is a brain-melting experience. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, all that's gone. 
Nice. Oh man, I like how they call you failure. I know that she was reading, a, or he was reading her quote there, but I like how they call you failure, right? When you do one mistake. Oh my god. What an absolute nightmare of a game. <laughs> I'm still happy to actually get to try it because I saw Mark and Jack Septicai play this game a long time ago and it did look interesting to play and I was never able to play it so it is kind of cool to experience the pain that they <laughs> went through when uh, playing this game and I only got it on sale for like a dollar ninety nine or something like that so that makes it a lot easier to <laughs> swallow when you're going through some uh, absolute suffering like this I guess I can talk about COVID and how it felt. Um, I had it for like a total of six days. The first day when I found out I had it, I had a really bad fever. And it was obviously, damn it, not a fun time. Just like whenever you have a fever, you know, that's not a pandemic. And it probably lasted around 12 hours and finally broke with massive amount of sweating and then I was pretty much okay except I could not sleep because my kidneys I could feel them and that's never something good so I could feel both kidneys pretty much every second of the day and they didn't hurt extremely horrible, like I'd say the actual pain was probably a three, but just being well aware that you're feeling your kidneys and that it's not right, it was very concerning and that lasted for about six days. And the same thing with the hip pain in my right hip. And that was also very concerning because I was thinking if I'm gonna have, you know, some form of long COVID and have it continue to affect me, the hip is a pretty major part, and I don't want to try to get that replaced. Okay, other than that though, I mean it was pretty much your standard uh, flu. And again, doesn't feel good. I had had a flu, and hopefully I don't jinx myself here, but I've not had a flu and I have not thrown up for like six years now. I mean, 2019... I'm pretty sure I didn't get sick at all except for like a head cold and I know I haven't had a, any any kind of sickness at all really since the pandemic so it definitely didn't feel good to be sick again <laughs> I'm glad that we have Campbell's chicken noodle soup for when you're feeling bad but having to be in the position where that seems like the only thing you can tolerate absolutely sucks I don't want to be in that space again, regardless of what the virus is. I don't want to be in that space again. I hated it. I definitely don't want to ever do it for Christmas again. But uh, Christmas was really good as far as the gifts that I got. It was pretty much the only positive about Christmas. Is that nobody died, <laughs> even though we all felt like we were dying. And I got really good gifts. So obviously I got this computer. And I got a new monitor, and my girlfriend got me two pairs of really nice ultra-white New Balance shoes that I'm a big fan of. Then I got a bunch of other stuff, including a really cool 3D gel print of Mr. Sparkle from The Simpsons. If you don't know who Mr. Sparkle is, Season 8. Episode 22 of The Simpsons entitled In Marge We Trust. Fantastic episode. It's what the fishbulb is referencing on my channel. And uh, I definitely recommend going to watch that wherever you can. So I've given definitely a little bit more insight into who I am. I really thank each and every one of you for being here and supporting me and uh, I guess the only thing I really want to talk about still is the reason of why I wanted to get monetized obviously it's a no-brainer you're gonna make money once you're monetized uh, I don't expect to become a giant youtuber or anything like that I don't expect to become 
hugely popular on any platform, but I know that my Grand Theft Auto tracks have become very popular. Um, just this last Tuesday, I actually had the 20th race that I've made break a thousand plays, and I'm breaking 83,000 plays on my most popular race, and then even my Panto roller coaster race that I guess it turns out Rockstar took and did not credit me for. Their version of my track has broken a hundred thousand plays, so I know that uh, my content, at least in that respect, is worth watching and people really enjoy it. So, the whole point of why I want to get monetized is that I can justify continuing to operate, oh my god, and dedicating so much time to the craft of creating those tracks and making these videos. I don't expect to ever have enough money from social media in any aspect to be able to go out and buy a mansion or anything like that. That's not really my goal. I just want to be able to, again, justify the time and energy spent putting in these tracks and interacting with people. Um, I made a video about two or three videos back showing people who were running my track and thanking them in the video and sharing their video and hopefully I brought attention to them. Okay, I've not got past this point yet. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> that was awesome. That's exactly what you want to see happen. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yep, we're in trouble. <laughs> oh my god, I couldn't imagine trying to actually play this game. As I said, I just wanted to have it in the background as I talked. But trying to actually get through this game, oh my god, somebody speedrunning this? I'm pretty sure I've heard about people speedrunning it under like three minutes or something insane like that. I've never watched a speedrunning video. I don't think I even know how this game ends. Um, I know eventually you start going up into snow and there's a whole construction area. And he talks about recycled games and all that. I, uh, I don't think I know how it ends though. But yeah, this game is ridiculous. <laughs> Again, I, I'm glad that it exists. But man, I don't think we will be seeing this game on my channel ever again. <laughs> oh, what an absolute gut punch. <laughs> okay, I honestly don't remember this. I don't even know if I'm supposed to go this way or if I'm supposed to go back to the right. Are there multiple lanes? Oh my god. I also don't know if I'm supposed to be clicking. <laughs> I don't know if clicking does anything. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Jesus. Well, anyway, I think that's all that I wanted to talk about so far. Hope everyone has a really great New Year's. This is the last video of 2022, obviously, since this is the last day of 2022. Hope everybody is safe out there and you get to enjoy yourselves. Hope we get a good 2023. Hopefully we're done with all this COVID stuff soon and we don't ever have to say the name of that stupid virus ever again. Thank you for continuing to support me in all the ways that you do. I hope you will like and comment and subscribe so that you can help me get con uh, continue to get closer to being monetized. Like I said, that's the main goal just so I can justify all the time and energy spent trying to make content in every form that I do. So I really appreciate if you're here and you watch me and you like my videos. You can definitely comment. I will try to respond to every comment. I don't think I've broken that bar yet. Even if you don't have something positive to say, as long as it's uh, something constructive, I don't mind reading it and I'll probably respond to it. So. 
thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for being subscribed to me. I hope you'll continue to stay subscribed and I hope you'll come back and watch every video and I hope you like what I do. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. Thank you one last time.